Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for the final episode of my 11th marathon of 2024. I'm doing 12 this year and today is I think November 4th, 3rd or 4th, I think it's the 4th. And decided to go ahead and go ahead and run it. Um, completely forgot about daylight savings time over the weekend and that's why I'm out here in the dark. I thought I still had that extra hour of light which would have put me back home without needing the light. Maybe on the cusp it was a pretty cloudy day so it would have been a little earlier than that. But didn't matter anyway because I was out way past dark. So went ahead and it went pretty well overall. The wind was just gross today. I was not a big fan of the wind. It was in my face a lot of the run. I was kind of, if I thought about the wind, I would have ran a different area than what I ran. I ran in some pretty wide, flat open area. Well, hilly areas, but no trees, no wind blocks, no nothing. Um, pretty much just jumped on the highway and headed south towards Missouri. Made it down to a little town called Cincinnati. Ran to the far side of Cincinnati, about nine miles away from my house. Turned around, came back. At one point, when I stopped to take care of the dog, to let him kind of play in the tall grass for a little bit, I stopped my watch, took off running, started shooting, I think it was the second part of this little series, and realized I forgot to start my damn watch. So I lost about, I think it was about 0.19 miles there, so just under two tenths of a mile. Oh well, life goes on. Um, doesn't count against my time, because my time watch was still stopped. I just ran extra distance that didn't matter. Um, everything went pretty well though. At one point, the dog was giving up on me way early today, which is strange for him. We got him back to the house about mile 18, somewhere in there, eight, yeah, about 18 miles, and dropped him off. Went ahead and grabbed myself a banana, headed back out to finish some more running. And the sun dropped quick on me, and I was sweating like a demon. I was wet, I was super cold freeze my butt off so I actually kind of made a about a four mile loop or so back into the house and changed clothes also my phone died I don't know what the hell's going on with that it had 21 percent power I was sent ready to send another tweet out on whatever mile it was at that point and the phone just shuts off powered it back on hard power or like a soft reset I guess whatever came back on said it had 19 percent power was on for about 30 seconds and shut back off again so I went home I spent about nine minutes in the house charging the phone with my quick charger. Went ahead and charged my iPod which I'm filming on right now. Charged it while I was there too. And I thought since I'm here to hell with it, I went ahead. I actually drank a little bit of Mountain Dew, which I'd done for the first time on my Ultra. Well, my marathon, my Hawk um, Trail Marathon, but the actual Ultra race, they had Mountain Dew there. And it set really well with me. I didn't think it would. It did really good. So I drank probably eight, 10 ounces while I was sitting in the house there. Felt pretty good to recharge myself with some, you know, dirty sugars, I guess you want to call it. And from there, I changed all my clothes. I was just soaking wet. Changed everything out except my socks. Um, my feet have some ridiculous blisters. I tried some new socks tonight, or today's run. I shouldn't have done that. And as bad as they're feeling and they're bleeding out, and I can see it's my sock, I was scared if I actually saw how bad my foot looked, it was going to change my outlook on my last part of my run. So I did not even pull my sock off. I did change um, underwear, pants, shirt, everything. Um, put a, Double, I doubled up my jacket, a real thin running jacket from last year's IMT marathon, my first marathon in my life, last October. I put that on, it's like a little crew neck um, zip up thing. Threw my jacket back on, which it's this one right here. It's the only real wind block jacket I've got. Unfortunately, it was sweaty inside, so it didn't work great, but it did work. And it's better than no jacket at all. So I went ahead and got that done, headed back out, finished up my run here. I felt, felt pretty good actually. I tried a handful of new things today. I um, used um, Honey Stinger, um, the wafers for energy at one, one of those. I think I, I can't remember if I, I think I ate the honey one. And it was good. It tasted really good. And the thing was just, seemed to set great. It seemed to give me good energy. It's like 160 calories, which is much more than a goo is. So that was something I wasn't sure how I'd feel about that. It seemed to go great. I did have a root beer um, goo I was going to try, but I didn't. I came back to the house and ate that banana instead which I thought would be a better source of sugars for me. Got that done. Biggest problem I got is my right knee was really giving me some fits. Mostly I think because I've just been babying it, or I've been babying my left knee because all that injury from the Hawk Marathon fall. And I had to just, I've just thrown my right side out. I also think I might have dislocated a couple bones in my right foot because all my shoes are fitting tight in the middle, like the top of my foot. I've had to go through and lace, loosen up all my laces on all my shoes, which is weird because I use the um, Yanks um, quick ties so they're like bungee cords I never have to set them I set them once and forget about them and I've had to go ahead and loosen every one of my shoes up in the last probably three weeks now on my right side so I think that right there is part of the issue there 
favoring that foot than through that knee out, I think. So glad it's over, glad it's done. Uh, I do have my stocking mask on, I'm not sure you can see it or not. Got my stocking mask on because it was so cold. Changed my hat out, did all that good stuff. So I could basically go out here and finish up my run. So I think I PR'd, I gotta go look at the actual numbers, make sure which I don't know if you can technically count as a PR or not because of the fact that after all I did stop and change clothes and that so but I figure if I was an actual race I wouldn't have had that happen I would have been more prepared for it also I wouldn't have stopped and deal with the dog and bring him back home and that kind of thing too so who knows I'll probably I don't know if I'll change it into PR or not I probably will because I technically did run it in that speed even though I had a couple minutes of time that I was down while changing clothes and taking care of the dog and that kind of stuff so Anyway, I'm back here at my house. I'm going to go in, grab myself some delicious chocolate milk, and basically get myself a long hot shower and call it a day. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Get out there, lace your shoes up, hit the door, and get your run on.